UFC debut, picking up the win. Uh, man, hell of a fight. What, what, what are the emotions like right now? Uh, they're great, man. This is a dream come true for me. I've been working at this since I was 12 years old, so it's awesome. It sucks a little bit. I got caught at the very last punch. I broke my nose, but other than that, I feel great. You guys had a little bit of emotion coming into this. Was this a little bit of a grudge match that we didn't know about? Yeah, no. I mean, most people didn't know about it. They followed it a little bit. We were supposed to fight about a year and a half, two years ago. He was running his mouth. I ended up getting a concussion, had to pull out. And, uh... Yeah, that, it is what it is. You know, we had a little beat, but we just settled it, so we're cool now. I was going to say, it looked like after you guys, you know, went through the whole thing, you kind of hugged it out. So if you go through a war like that, it settles it? Yeah, it's like how can you blood, sweat, and tears with someone in there and go to war and, and still be mad, you know? Like, uh, I felt his best, he felt my best, you know? So none but respect for him. He is a true warrior. His nickname does do him justice, you know? No doubt. Kind of a weird situation you get in a fine. You know, they find you 10% of your purse. I want to ask you about that. I mean... What's your feeling on that? Do you feel like that was appropriate? It was wrong? What do you think? Honestly, uh, it was probably my fault for pushing him, but he did scream in my face when we were face to face, you know, and it pissed me off. He already had bad blood, so it is what it is. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It sucks, but uh, uh, on social media, it kind of went a little viral on all the news uh, MMA sites and all the fans had my back on it, you know, and we're going to try to appeal it and see what happens. I'm sorry, California State Athletic Commission, for doing that. It won't happen again. Very cool. All right, let's talk about the fight itself, man. Like I said, heck of a war. Almost finished it in the first, man. Did you, did you think you had it done? Yeah, I, I was like, there's no way he's getting out of this or he's going to sleep. And the motherfucker was breathing through a straw and he still survived. So, yeah, I really thought it was over in the first. And then I see my coaches yelling at me, let go, let go, so I don't burn out my arms. And I did, you know. So it is what it is. I'll go back to the drawing board. Work on that guillotine, and next time it will be a first round finish. Was it frustrating? I mean, I would think, you know, your UFC debut being that close to a finish early on. I mean, did you have to control yourself? Did it, you know, was it an adrenaline dump? What was it like? Definitely. I didn't have an adrenaline dump because, uh, well, the first round I kind of did when he was on my back, I was like, I heard him breathing, and it, nothing was really hurting, but I was just like, I knew if I was just breathing, calm down in the second round, I'd have more air, you know, and I felt like I did. But there was a little bit of adrenaline dump, but not too much. I train with the best team in the world, and I stay composed, you know, so I was prepared. No doubt. A battle the rest of the way, though. It looked like you were having fun. I mean, you, obviously not the uh, the broken nose there, but yeah. I mean, are those the kind of fights you like to be in? Yeah, uh, no, I like to go in there and knock someone out in the first 10 seconds. So that's the kind of fights I like to be in. Didn't go that way. It was a war. You know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm confident I'll be back stronger than ever, and I'll come back to my finishing ways. Very nice. You know, he did finish strong, as you said. I mean, were you at all concerned about the result as, as you lined up for the, for the judge's decision? No, I felt like I won. It was unanimous, right? Yeah, no, I felt like I won, but uh, I felt like it was pretty close, but I feel like I did enough each round to come out on top, you know? Yeah. Well, heck of a debut right now, man. Obviously, you got to heal up a little bit and rest, I'm sure, but give me an idea of what's next, man. I mean, is there a date, a location, a name, anything that makes sense for you? Nah, bro, I'm just going to go back with my family, Team Alpha Mel, and go train and work on this, get this fixed, let this heal up first, but... Uh, no, I mean, whenever they call me and whenever I'm, I'm, my suspension is good and my nose is back to normal, I'll be back in there ready to put you guys, put on a good show for you guys.